In this question, we are given a exponential graph, and so they've given us the form over there, and they say show that t is equal to negative 1. So let me just write this out. p of x equals to t multiplied by 3 to the power of x plus 1. Now, everything else we have, we know what this is, we know what this value is, and so all that we really need to do is substitute. So you find a point that is on that graph, and the only point that they've really given us is 0, 0. So you just go plug that in, 0, like that, and so 0 is equal to t. Now 3 to the power of 0 is 1, and so 0 is equal to t plus 1, and so if you had to solve, t would be equal to negative 1. So that was quite easy. Question 8.2. If P, so the graph P, is shifted four units to the left, give the new, um, oh, to give a new function H, write down the equation. Okay, so if you move something to the left, um, remember what that does. So let's say, for example, I have a parabola. Now, a parabola would typically be like that, for example. So if I had to ask you, what does this part over here do to a graph? You should be able to say that this moves the graph three places to the right, right? Whenever you have x minus 3, then it's three places to the right. And if I had y equals to 2x plus 1, then this would move it one place to the left. So if you're going to move this thing four units to the left, then I'm going to ask you guys, is it going to become y equals to minus 1 times 3x plus 1 plus 4 like that? Or is it going to be y equals to minus 1 to the power of 3x plus 4 up there plus 1? So the correct option is the second one because here we can see that we are changing the x and we are moving it four places to the left and so that's why we put a plus. I know it's weird. When you go left it's plus and when you go right it's minus. We would expect it to be the other way around. We definitely do not want to do it like this because plus 4 over here means that you're moving the graph four places up. But when you change it here by the x's, then it's going um, to the left. And so this is the final answer for that question. Let me just write it down. y equals to minus 1 times 3 to the x plus 4 plus 1.